welcome to my electronics lab. Um, when I first built it some months back, I thought this would be plenty enough space. Uh, but uh, at that point, I had only some uh, quite small uh, equipment, like my uh, Rigol oscilloscope and some different uh, frequency uh, generators and power supplies and stuff like that. Um, but in the meantime, I acquired quite a lot of stuff on eBay. And uh, most of it is uh, very deep and uh, basically I don't have room on my table anymore. Um, for example, I don't know whether you can see it or not, I just got this Tektronix uh, oscilloscope that I'm repairing right now. The machine is so deep that if I put it on a shelf up here, it's protruding out by maybe 20 centimeters and, and, that's, and that's not good. And if I put it down here on my bench and I push it in towards the wall, uh, I don't have any space for soldering and uh, general uh, desk use. So after just two or three months, uh, I have to reorganize already. If you look at my electronics lab, I have a component store. Uh, under my window, I have uh, different semiconductors and in my rotating one, I have resistors and capacitors and uh, the more common components. Um, if we just go around here, I have my L-shaped table um, and the general idea was that on the left here I had my computer and some paper and calculator and things like this and uh, down at the end I would have uh, my electronics uh, repair station or workstation or whatever you want to call it um, but as you can see the the, the equipment is, is uh, getting more and more and I really don't have space for anything right now um, <clears throat> On my bench right now, I have a Tektronix, an old Tektronix oscilloscope that I just repaired. And um, actually, I plan to use it, but uh, yeah, there is no space anymore. Uh, also, I got some Rode und Schwarz equipment, uh, it's a vector network analyzer basically. And uh, I had to place it next to my bench on a small table to get uh, space for it. So, um, on top of that, I actually wanted to put my rotating component store, so that is near to, to where I work, but there's no room there either, uh, at least not at the moment. So, yeah, next to that I have a computer and my work desk, and there's already no room there. I even had to put some uh, small, um, some small, what do you call these, uh, component storage things behind the computer. And uh, actually these are the things that I need uh, quite often. If you look down here, I have... A lot of BNC connectors and SMA connectors and stuff like that. Terminator, 50 ohm termination, and uh, and you know. So these things that I need uh, most often are now hidden behind my uh, my laptop. So that really doesn't work anymore. And I do have shelves. If if I move back a little bit, you can see I have two rows of shelves, two layers of shelves, and I have a lot of uh, equipment on that. Uh, both of my smaller oscilloscopes. Um, the Rigol with all the logic functions and uh, my go-to scope, the DW Instec. I also have some power supplies and watt meters and uh, and stuff like that. And and they uh, they are okay. These shelves are pretty good. I I like them a lot. Uh, but the depth is only like 30 or 40 centimeter. If 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 you see here from here to to the wall. So the 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 big equipment like this one down here, my. Uh, Spectrum analyzer. This one protrudes back maybe 50 centimeters, like half a meter. So in front of it, there's really no space for anything. And uh, also, there's no room for my soldering irons, so I have to put them in the window sill here. And uh, you know, that's not a good solution either. And uh, if I sit, if I sit on my chair, my chair here and try to repair something, uh, there's no room really. So I have to. Uh, over the next couple of days I have to uh, rearrange my workshop and uh, basically what I intend to do is extend this this table top here extend it out to about can you see it extend it out by another 30 or 40 centimeters to about here where my hand is and then I will have space for my uh, anti-static mat and stuff like that um, so yeah uh, I better get on with it and uh, we'll see how it ends uh, how it looks at the end 